on earth are we doing in this fisherman's pub, Holmes? The damn place stinks of fish. You remember the sailors we overheard in the theatre yesterday? Yes. I arranged to meet the purser of the vessel, a chap called Mick the Mackerel. Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Mackerel? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, who? I apologise, Mr. Mackerel. This is Dr. Watson, and he can be as ignorant as a two-ton tit. Please sit down. What is it you want? Mr. Mackerel, I understand you are the purser aboard the schooner Jungle Jim. I was. I no longer worked for the Bina Shipping Company. I left the Jungle Jim when they accused me of baboon bullying in India. I see. Can you tell me what the Jungle Jim's cargo consisted of when it was inbound to Whitby? Cattle. Plain and simple. Moo, moo. Anything else? Such as? Well, Mr. Mackerel, all this seems a little fishy to me. (laughs) Shut up, Watson. Mr. Mackerel. Maybe there were some other smaller creatures? Oh, you mean the vampire bats? I knew it. Where were they destined? How should I know? You were the sodding purser, for God's sake. Oh, Mr. Holmes, such information is confidential. And if a poor man like me discloses... Poor indeed. Any half-decent purser can make a pretty penny. What with the schemes and bribes and little perks you lot have... It's a wonder you're not all millionaires. Why is... How dare you accuse me of accepting... Ten shillings. Done. How many bats? Fifteen boxes of fifty. All alive? When we set off from Rotterdam, yes. About fifty percent survived. And the name of the recipient? All I know is the name of the shipping company shipping them. The Flip, Flap and Bite Your Company. Based in the wheat bin. Address? Twenty-four Harpoon Lane. Ten shillings. Thank you. Another fine bribe. I'd like to do the business with you again, Mr. Holmes. We have nothing in common. How do you mean? You're common, I'm not. Good day to you.